What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to the new episode. My name is Cherry, also known as a Ma's mother. I also call him by Jabari. And this is a Ma's Divine Family and Culture, okay? So today, I want to go into talking about our week, okay? We had a ball. We absolutely had a ball, okay? Me and my also um went by to see my dad and we also went by to school and i'm gonna let y'all take a look for yourself but hey let's get it huh? hey y'all uh, i wasn't able to see my daddy on father's day because i had a toothache so bad and then the following week i had this strep throat so i got him a gift I'm up here to see him in Buford. Hey, Daddy. Hey. You chilling outside? I just came out here to see, see what it feel like out here. You look good. Oh, yeah? Happy late Father's Day, but I got you something. I wasn't able to see my dad on Father's Day because I had a massive toothache, okay? And right after that, my body started shutting down. It was just a whole lot that I was going through. And I was like, you know what? I wanna go see my daddy. When I go see my daddy, I'm like Jean off X-Men. And my dad is like Professor X. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Like, it's like when it comes down to my mental control, when it comes down to how I handle situations, like my daddy is my peace. Okay. I don't care what we go through. He's my peace. And I can't help that. I mean, eventually, you know, time does change things. Okay. But. Um, when it comes down to regaining that focus and that love or that feeling that a father has for his daughter is 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 untouchable. Okay. So it's like no matter what I go through, um I can always just see how my dad's doing and as long as he's okay and he's within peace. I'm in peace. So, I picked him up a little something on the way. <laughs> and we talked. We had a heart to heart. You like it? Yes, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Me and my dad, we haven't always had, like, the best, like, relationship. But who has the best relationship with their parents nobody because they expect you to be a certain way they expect you to live a certain lifestyle they expect you to do certain things in life and you know you went your own way and you made your own decisions and now it's like <laughs> they can't believe you didn't listen to them but you know it's a part of life and you know um I appreciate the things that I went through. I don't regret nothing. I'm talking about nothing. I don't care. If somebody try to blackmail me, I better be the best at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because Cherry had a wild side. Trust me. Before she was a mommy, she was, she was wild Cherry. You know what I'm saying? Literally. But, of course, I played it safe. So, I'm not concerned about none of that nothing from my past it made me become who i am today and the heart to heart that i had with my dad was um i we was discussing about parenthood you know and he was talking about how my son is extremely spoiled which is true my son is extremely spoiled i i mean i hate to say he's a little brat you know what i'm saying but it is my fault and I, I try to balance it the much, as much as I can, you know, being a mother or whatever. But it's only so much that, you know, you can do as a mother, like, 
to try to play that father role, but you still mommy. So it's like you got to put that structure, but you got to turn around and explain why you had to be that, be like that. Because I just feel like every child should know why they had to be disciplined or corrected. Because you know you never want to grow up. I mean, we all we all adults here. You know what I'm saying? You don't want your child to grow up feeling like you know they have just been mistreated. You know, so that mothering energy that given to a child is like you know you can't you can't hold back when it comes down to that but at the same time you gotta let them know hey you know what i'm saying tighten up then you gotta turn around and explain it <laughs> i mean you're not explaining yourself but you know but you know how that go one of the things like me and my dad was talking about was um what hurt him the most when it came down to our bond, you know, and you ready for school? Yes, school. <laughs> one of the things that he was, well, not one of the things, but the main thing that he said that hurt him the most was growing up, you know, all I knew was my dad, you know, all I knew was him. I had no idea that he wasn't my biological father. I had no idea that that was the only man I ever knew, you know. And he's been in my life, you know, when I was just a few months. And I never saw anybody but him. So when I was told as foggy as it was to me, and he brought it to me on how I found out it made sense. And I just had to reassure him, like, no matter what we go through, Daddy, you still my father. He told me that my oldest brother told him, told me, excuse me, that he wasn't my father and I didn't have to listen to him. And I do remember telling him that he wasn't my father. And he just got so quiet. And he got so distant. I remember when he first started getting distant with me. And I thought I was doing the right thing. But, I mean, as a form of coping mechanism or trying to deal with my own pain and my own issues. But it wasn't solving anything. And I told my daddy, I said, Daddy, you wasn't the only one hurt, you know? I said, I was hurt too. I was bullied. Watch out for them amp house now. These damn ants out here ain't nothing to play with. My brother in particular, I've always wanted a bond with my oldest brother. I always wanted that. I, I would see everybody else with their siblings getting along. They not, you know, they'll fight for each other, all that stuff. But I did I couldn't get that with my older brother and sad to say I had to get ruthless in order for him to see things my way. Not say it changed anything on how he internally feel. But um I hate I had to be like that in order for him to see me, you know? And I could never tell you how he feel now but he hurt me and when my daddy told me that it reassured the fact that I wasn't the only one hurt by him I would hear people that we were cool with or they knew him or they knew me or my friends or anybody that he dated that he did not like me he did not like me I told my dad I said daddy I said I would have busted up shoes to school and it's embarrassing for me to say this, but I'm going to say it. 
But I would wear my brother's shoes to school. And when he would have a job, he would buy his girlfriend new shoes and pick on me. <laughs> like, and it continued on and on until we became adults. And he continued that way. Now he just keeps his distance as much as he can. And I'm like, I had gotten to the point in my life where I just kind of gave up, you know, trying to bond with him like that. You know, I... I had to come to the realization that some people would never change when it comes down to their mental. They would come up with all the excuses in the world, but people make time for what they want. So it is what it is. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. son decided we was gonna walk to school <laughs> i know they're like what don't you got cars yeah but we walked to school because the school wasn't that far and i needed to get a little cardio in and so i was like we can walk up here and it was hot as fuck it was hot as hell but we walked and um so we can kind of get out the house and just get into him with nature and get him used to being outside a little bit more as far as walking because my son he is so spoiled he will after a certain amount of like a piece of a mile he is he wants you to carry him my son is spoiled <laughs> highly <laughs> and me i'll sit there and pick him up like he ain't almost my height you know what i'm saying so we had to walk it out we just had to walk it out so y'all my son got accepted to preschool yay and so <laughs> he's excited and i'm excited that allowed me to get more things done in the daytime because, child, it is so not easy to maintain and do more things when you don't have a babysitter on it. And so, and I don't want a little TT babysitter that can come a little bit. And No, I need a consistent babysitter. So... <laughs> You know, it is what it is. I it water. It dries. You finna cross the street, okay? Yeah. No, that's enough. Okay, you want me to stand back here? <laughs> His car. Come on. We gotta cross the street. Why is you holding me back? Wait, look, 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 look. Car, 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 car. See? Yeah, there's a car. You gotta look both ways. Now look the other way. You see any cars? Yes, in the cars. Okay. No, no. Keep going straight. You don't walk uh, down the street. Uh, Come on now. You got to pay attention. You can't just walk because it looks like it, it ain't going to happen. You have to pay attention. Come on. Uh, I obviously know where I'm going. Come on now, you're going to have to pick up your speed. I feel like I'm walking backwards. That means you didn't slow down. Come on. All that running you through, all throughout the house, guess what? You could burn half that energy taking this walk. Come on. Why are you on this side? Huh? 
What did I tell you about that? Get in the inside of me. When you get a little older and you get you a gal, guess what? You'll be able to do that. All right? But why you my baby? You stay on the inside and let mommy, let mommy take that. And I don't leave my child with just anybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't play that shit. I do not play that shit. I do not play that shit. Okay? You know what I'm saying? You talking to somebody who has experienced pure trauma. So I don't I don't let my child just stay with anybody. I'm not saying that all people are bad, but did you got some people will say and do stuff around your kids and being that my son is not at that age where he can communicate his feelings smoothly you know as of right now he's with me until he knows hey you can open up your mouth you can say how you feel but just don't get disrespectful okay i'm not i don't play that you know and a couple times i have to straighten him out because you know he be thinking mommy his friend and i'm not your friend baby i'm not your friend okay i'm your mother if you don't respect me you won't respect no kind of authority and you need to know now Do I want what? You got this. Boy, what is you talking about? Yeah, this is the play. This yeah. slide. No, that's the school. Yes, school. I told you you didn't have that far to walk. Yeah, that has school. Now, when you start school, you ain't going to be walking to school. But we walking today. School. You see school. how these cars be just balling down the street? Go. Come on, we're going to have to walk around all these bushes because I don't want nothing to touch your skin. Come on. If mom be walking, I'd be able to dodge these bushes too. They need to come through here and cut this shit here. That ain't no damn sidewalk. Come on, baby. play with it no sun how the hell i'm sweating like it's 10 suns outside that's all right i needed this walk get that energy back up You look like you excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm super really excited. I'm super really excited. I'm super really excited. I'm super really excited. <laughs> I'm super really excited. <laughs> Mommy, yeah, hello, boy. Gonna be in school. Yeah, this school. Yeah. This school.
I gotta keep putting some more cocoa I butter just, just, on the side of your eye because they're gonna look at that and be like, oh, I know he bad as hell. This is not a playground. We're not coming for no playground. We're not coming for the playground. We're coming for the school. Now, come on. I'm not doing that today now. Bring your tail on. Get out that grass. Act like you got some sense now. Cause let me tell you something. It ain't you about to start school. And you think it's all about going to the playground. You got another damn thing coming if they call me all the time. You go to school to learn. Learn as much as you can. Now come on, walk in front of me. I already got sweat all in my eyes and shit. Ooh, I'm getting nasty. Lord have mercy. Okay. So I enjoy like kicking it with my baby. I, I, I enjoy hanging out and, and going on walks and going places and doing things. But when he get my child got this thing where he likes to holler. Ahmad likes to holler when he can't get his way. I'm talking about ah, top of his voice because he's so spoiled to the point where um you gotta you got to fix yourself before you have to whew, before you kind of like, all right, now, nah. you know what I'm saying? Because he will get in that rebellious mode, and it's like, oh, my God, you know. <sighs> Baby, you leaving me. Don't leave me. All right, I'm turning around. Mommy, mommy, sit down. Mommy, sit down. No, no, we can sit down. No, mommy, we walking. We walking. We walking. We walking. Mommy. No. Mommy. Go on, burn that energy out. Mommy. Go on, burn them out. Mommy. What's up? Mommy. What's up, baby? You ready for school? Yes, cool. You know you got you just got accepted. I'm excited. Yeah. 
Now make sure you get you some shoes. We gotta get some shoes. And get Mommy. your hair cut. Mommy. Some more clothes. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. What's up, baby? Mommy. Oh, uh, come on. Baby. Bring your tail on. Quit playing with me. Come here. Who you holiday? <laughs> Come here. Uh, Come here. Let me tell you something. I'm not your friend. No, look at me. Look at me now. Look at me. I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. I want you to always remember that, all right? Yeah. So don't you holler at me. Just like, I'm just trying to figure out what in the hell can I put like on his face to get rid of that mark. Like he got on a toy so small and decided to roll on rocks with it and flip completely over. So now, now that it has healed, he's picking at it. And it's like, every time I see it, I'm like, oh Lord, people gonna think I'm abusing my damn child and I'm not even touching him. No, I don't play that face shit. I don't even like for nobody to touch my face. You know what I'm saying? So it just, just growing up, like my mother was like, whatever you do, don't let nobody touch your face. You don't touch your face. You know what I'm saying? Like your face, this right here, you don't let no, not even in a fight. You don't let nobody get to your face. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that my baby got that, I know he's little and he's gonna shrink. I don't know. I just don't like it, y'all. And it's just like killing me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, uh, I want to, I just want to scream because I'm like, if you just listen sometimes, it's just, uh. But he's a boy and boys do a lot of horseplay and I'm just, I can't, I can't size him up like I would with a little girl because he is a boy. He's going to do things hard headedly. You know, I don't even know if that's even a word, but I made it up today. You know what I'm saying? So, but that, I don't like that shit, y'all. I really don't like that shit because I'm like, baby, you too handsome. I did everything to protect your face. <laughs> I'm talking about everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand a little mosquito bites here and there, you know, but you know, baby, you too handsome. Yeah, was looking like, you know, Tyson by the face. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I don't like this shit, y'all. I don't like this shit. So, that's why it's like, it seems like I, I get to, like, a point where, like, when he does not listen, that I get, like, an inner fear inside where I just feel like if he don't listen to me, something's going to happen to him in the future. So, I, I, I kind of get anxious. And that's when I be like, listen, you know, and it's one thing about it, you only got one mother in this life. You know what I'm saying? You got to love her. You got to protect her. You got to listen to what she's telling you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if she's telling you right. When she's telling you right, the right things, making right decisions and making smart decisions, you got to listen to your mama. You got to listen to your mama because you don't got but one. When she gone, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, now your journey really begins because and I think that's, like, one of the real main reasons why I, I started my spiritual journey real early because I always thought ahead of my time, you know. My mother ain't going to always be here. My daddy ain't always going to be here. Like, my daddy's 71, you know. So, most people my age, you know, parents, it's not that old. So, my soul been old. So, I think ahead of my time because I have to be prepared for that, you know. decide we was going to go to an air sporting place oh my god it was raining so bad y'all i'm talking about just non-stop it created a whole lake in my yard you know what i'm saying <sighs> talk about i gotta get some grass some fertilizer for the grass i'm talking about like the grass is still soft and it ain't raining in a day and a half maybe two days i don't know but the grass still soft it rained that much 
okay, have just created soil. <laughs> Straight up soil all through the yard. So me and my son, we just decided we was going to have some indoor fun. Okay. Whew. Man. I got to do a little bit more walking outside for this. <laughs> but, y'all, I was like, let me take my baby somewhere where we can have some fun. Pray some memories. Can't leave me. about this place it's not too expensive and it's just it, they you pay by the hour how many hours you want to be out there you know what i'm saying and they ask you what time you want to start you know and phew, i'm talking about there's so much stuff out there it's like play basketball while you jumping these trampolines um dodgeball then they got a little air um they call it the air area it was basically for little kids you know what i'm saying i wanted to get in it but they told me i couldn't they told me i couldn't get on it but my baby was like come on mommy come on i was like i can't get on it baby i don't want to i don't want to get in trouble get us put out of here you know what i'm saying even though they weren't tripping about it you know what I'm saying? they were like oh for you we ain't you know we'll turn the blind eye i was like no i don't want to get nobody in trouble you know what i'm saying and i know parents do it all the time but not me I don't want to do that because, you know, everybody need their job. You know what I'm saying? And I know they just a sweet. And I'm pretty sure, too, if the if the supervisor was to see me, he probably wouldn't have care either. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, I don't want to do that because, you know, I just didn't want to do that. I just want my son to have fun. It was all, this is what it was all about. Burn some energy, baby. That's what you need to do, okay? You run all day through the house. Won't you just run at a place where you can run at? You know, so they had like arcades and they had like different stuff that you can do.
You want to go to the big one?
get out this thing and every time I get close to getting out bar pushes me back in here <laughs> yeah. so I got to get out one cube at a time I made it. <laughs> no, 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 I rolled up out of here. There's nothing you can do about it. Is that one of those? Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that one of those aerobic things where they use the? Yeah. Like a ballerina. <laughs> I wish I did know how to use those things. I've seen it. I was like, man, they so artistic with it. <laughs> decide I want to get on the bar <laughs> why I do that you know what I'm saying why did I do that Lord I regret it okay I'm talking about I regret it I end up popping nails I'm talking about gone you know what I'm saying all I knew was I got on the bar and the lady told me all you gotta do is let your feet go <laughs> I did exactly what that lady said, and bang, bang. When I, I felt all 200 plus pounds, baby. I'm sorry, my, I felt that. Oh, gravity did not take a day off. I'm sorry, my, I let go, and all I felt was dead weight on the bar. And I was like, ah, oh, but damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, I felt, I paid for that shit. Two nails, two 
love them. When I see the playback of this, I'm gonna trip myself out. They had a good time laughing at me. I sit down in these cushions. I, I sat down for like five, six minutes. I don't know. Oh shit. Dang. Let's try that. All right. Bobby, you can't push people in there. I ain't lying. I paid for that shit. My finger, I'm talking about, I ain't gonna lie. It was only like 15 minutes in there for us, and I was ready to go in immediately. I laid in there for about five minutes. I ain't lying. The lady said, you okay? You need me help you out? I said, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm talking, I'm sitting there sweating. I'm sad. I was like, my fingertips hurt. I'm talking about in my mind, I was talking that shit. Like, I'm going to swing in my mind. Let me tell you, I felt like Doug Funny. I don't know if y'all even familiar with that cartoon. I feel like Doug Funny. I got on that giant. I was like, yup, I'm going to get on this thing. I'm going to swing my ass off. And I'm I'm going to fly. It ain't happen that way. <laughs> it ain't go down. Nothing like that. You hear me? I'm talking about the next day I paid for it. I had a whole Charlie horse in my form. I'm sitting there trying to put my bra on and shit. I'm talking about I'm like this. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to go about this shit. Like, I was paying for every bit of it. Every bit of it. And I was like, I can't do this shit no more. But I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> I'll go back because I had fun jumping on the trampoline. I had a ball. My son had fun. We all had fun. Like, me and him. You know, I'm the fun mommy. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm also not your friend, okay? If I say something, you better listen. I'm, before I tell you anything wrong, I won't say anything at all. You know what I'm saying? So I will give you the real, because I don't want nobody getting over on you. And that's what, I, that's, that's what I preach all the time to my child, you know? I don't want you to feel like, you know, just because we, you, mommy, you and mommy having fun, it means that you get to do what you want to do. It don't happen that way. Because life ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of that stuff is too early to explain. But let's have fun while we're here. Let's have fun while you're young. You got the rest of your life to be grown. You got the rest of your life to worry about bills. You got the rest of your life to worry about anything. But he's such a gentleman. He sees the example of what I experienced where, you know, he's a gentleman. 
he had the little avatar card and he wanted to pay my way up in there. Tell him, here's my card. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> and he wanted to pay with his little avatar card. I'm like, baby, I got it. I got it. You know, so I'm okay with that as long as he, who, ever he decides to in the future, nothing soon, but in the future, when he decides to settle, I want him to know, like, you know, you treat these women like queens, but they also have to act like a queen to be treated as one. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled out here in these streets, but enjoy being a child while you can, okay? So, <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the rest of this with me, but I had a ball. And I hope y'all had a ball with me. And, hey, check out the next week's episode. We'll have some more fun. We'll do more things. And hopefully y'all enjoy it with us. I love y'all. I'm glad y'all watched it with me. <laughs> See you next week. Peace. had this much fun in a long ass time i had a ball i'll definitely come back here definitely i feel like a big ass kid come here we gotta go time is up okay plus it's storming outside it was a very fun thing to do while it's storming outside and can't play outside <laughs> so we enjoyed ourselves See y'all next time. See y'all next week. Peace.